What's up everybody? Thought I'd do a quick how-to video on uh, this uh, Ford 16.8 wheel horse that I acquired from a friend of mine. Um, it would start if I jumped the solenoid, but it would not start with the key. So there's several different things that can cause the problem, but um, two main ones are either the key switch, because the key switches are notorious for failing, or you may have a relay that goes bad, which is what happened in this instance. So I thought I would show you what I did with a friend to get this repaired. Actually, a couple friends helped me out. Um, so anyways, here's the relay that I replaced, but the original relay mounted right there on this bolt. And here is the original relay right here. Here's the part number. Is that 109583? Okay, and then you see on the front of that there, it shows you the schematic of the relay and how it works. Okay. Um, here is also the wiring diagram, which I acquired this. I just printed off a manual on uh, wheelhorseforum.com. I highly recommend that site. They've got everything you would want to know about the wheel horses, and I ain't kidding. Um, but anyways, this is the relay that we ended up fixing right here. So, as you can tell, there's only a few wires that come off of it. So you got a black for ground. You got a light blue for ignition, a light blue for the starter solenoid, and a red, that's your power, going to the, to the relay, okay? Um, we'll show you quickly here. Actually, I'll show you what happened. What happened here, actually, was the relay is actually still good, but what happened was, over time, dirt, debris, and everything else gets built up in these, and they end up, a lot of times, they'll get hot and burn up or whatever what happened was the power wire here was so melted it was not sending power from the lead wire to the relay that's actually all that was wrong you can buy just a plug on the jungle site or evil bay um I was lucky I had a friend, he come over and he helped wire this all up and he ended up bringing me a couple of Ford relays and here is the Ford relay we used. Um, he gave me an extra one for the heck of it, but this part number is FOAB-14B192-AA, but you can use any relay. I found one on Amazon with the plug. Um, and the relay for 10 bucks on Amazon. You just have to have that schematic here. It's got to look like this. Um, you don't need the middle wire for this. Um, the middle wire is an orange wire. You don't need it. I used, we used a pick and we just popped that center orange one out. Um, I'm not sure if the original one I gotta put my manual here away before it blows away. Uh, um, I don't know if it grounds through the tractor or what. Um, it might. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. That's just plastic. Um, but anyway, so what we did. So I'll show you here. Here. Uh, Got to sit down. So, here's the original plug. And we've got it this way. So, it is... I've got this just like the plug that we use. Just like that. So, you got your red wire. Which is still going to be red. Same as your original plug. That's your hot. That's your hot wire. Okay? The yellow wire here. I used... That is your wire that's going to the starter solenoid. The green is ground or black, which you can tell here. 
we hooked it right back into the ground. Um, I ended up actually, when I ripped that solenoid off the, the firewall there, I ended up uh, actually ripping the ground completely out, if you can't tell right here where my thumb is. <laughs> so, um, but that ground runs right up to here. So, um, and then we have this blue wire here. We have this blue wire hooked into the blue wire that goes to the ignition. So, to recap, your hot wire, your wire that goes to your starter solenoid, your your blue wire here that that goes to your ignition, and your green is your ground. And we hook this all together, and presto. Now it starts with the key. So I'll show you, I'll go over and show you what well, wire I'm talking about going to the starter solenoid. But um, yeah, it just tucks. So it just tucks down here. And I'll just show you, I guess I show you the back side here, how we got that going. So uh, let's see. Oh, hey, here we go. This might be good. So now you can, now you can see the original plug setup and the new one. See what we did? So that one was your hot wire, obviously, because it's red. This blue wire right here is your one that was going to your starter solenoid, your one that was going to the ignition, and then that was the ground on the factory plug. This was the factory plug. So Just like that. Hooked it back up the same way, pretty much. We just got a little bit different color wiring. I mean, you can change these out. You take a pick, and you can pop these right out of this plug. You can pop them right out, and, you know, you can use what you would like, you know. I'm more of an originalist, and I try to do that, but um, a good friend gave me this, so I wasn't going to complain. Um, it, and it works, and I'm happy. I'm ecstatic. So I got a few other things to fix. Um, I'll do these. I'll redo this crap, but... I hate when people do this stuff, you know, how or this is house wiring. You don't do that. Just do it right. So I got one there I got one up here and then I got one I found yesterday. That's, I got a dangling down below to redo it. But anyways, here is, here's that wire I was talking about on your starter solenoid right there. Goes right to your, right to your prong right here. So that's it. But uh, I just wanted to show you how to do that. So now I think I'm going to end up, I'm probably going to zip tie that new relay probably to, probably to here, probably this hole right here. I'll get it up and out of the way, but I may move it further back. We'll see. I'm not sure quite where I'll mount it, but kind of out of the way, but kind of also like easy to get to, but uh that's that in a nutshell. I uh, got this on a pretty good trade. So you might also check all your your uh, safeties. So if you got a bunch of safeties, like um, this one I just put on, put tape over it. It does work like it's supposed to, but I was doing that so we could see if it works without having to sit on the seat. But there's one there. You got one under this panel here for your brake. Um See, hear that? So there's one right under here. Actually, I think I have this. Um, I can't take it off without taking this off, but um, I had to fix that re or um, that little safety switch under there because it wasn't working quite right. It was kind of, yeah. I had to bend it so it works like it's supposed to. Um, and this also has a clutch safety and it has a brake safety. So. These newer style wheel horses, I'm talking newer because, well, there's a 69, I have a 58, and we have a 1965, so, um, but this isn't as bad as the uh, 520H wheel horse I have. Man, that thing's a wiring nightmare, but like I said, um, wheelhorseforum.com, I highly recommend that, um, that site. 
because uh, they've got everything under the sun. You can also be a member for really, really cheap fee. I think it's like 20 bucks for the whole year. And uh, gives you a little more access to their site. And I've got manuals and a lot of how-to stuff and a lot of uh, knowledge on there. There's thousands and thousands of members and people on there. So um, go check it out if you get a chance. Um, yeah. Now it starts with the key. So, like I said, your key switch can also cause problems. These are notorious for shorting out, getting hot. Um, so you might check that too. Um, this one here, everything seems to work. I cleaned the contacts and put some uh, dielectric grease on the plug. So that's all pretty good. I do have to replace um, this nine prong plug and another nine prong plug eventually because they have gotten hot at one time, as you can tell. Um, you can buy a kit I found on uh, Amazon that comes with a bunch of those uh, plugins, those style plugins. So, I mean, it's a no brainer. It's pretty cheap too. It's, 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 I think it's like 15 bucks or something for a kit with a bunch of them. And I think it comes even with the, uh, um, little pins for all your wiring. So, um, anyways, that's it in a nutshell. I just thought I'd give some advice on this because I was scratching my head for a while till I had a friend come over and kind of diagnose what was going on. And I had another friend come over yesterday and he, uh, pretty much hooked that all up for me. I've been trying to take it easy. I had hernia surgery uh, about three weeks ago, so um, I'm trying not to uh, get too crazy doing too much, but this was a pretty simple, easy job, so um, just diagnosing. I'm not an electric guru at all, that's for sure. I am still learning on this stuff, but you know, if you get the right schematic and the right person that knows what they're doing, it ain't too bad, you know. I mean, like I said, this manual here, they printed off a wheel horse for them. I mean, you can't beat that. That is the wiring diagram. That tells you everything. So, biggest thing is, what did somebody do before you got the machine? That's the key. <laughs> so, peace out. Everybody take care.